In January 2017, NASA announced a $188 million mission to explore the most exotic objects in the universe. This mission launches in 2020, and one of its priorities is to investigate black holes, as these peculiar entities still hold a great deal of intrigue for astrophysicists. But which questions will this mission answer? What answers will we receive? What are the black hole mysteries which scientists haven't solved? Starting at 4. What happens inside a black hole? The first question everyone asks regarding black holes is what happens inside them. But obviously, without entering and observing for ourselves, we cannot possibly know how these bizarre objects work. However, we do have some theories. And one of the most mind-bending says that when you enter a black hole, your reality would split in two with one version of yourself continuing unharmed and the other being burnt to a crisp by radiation. This reality split would be inevitable as soon as you cross the event horizon, the point where the black hole's gravity is too strong for light to resist its alluring presence. After this point, nothing can escape the immense pull of a black hole. And as you go deeper inside, space-time starts to curve. Eventually, space-time becomes a full-on limbo champion as it bends over on itself until it becomes infinitely curved. At this stage, the laws of physics no longer apply as we know them. The concepts of space and time become meaningless, and if you somehow manage to survive, your fate would be uncertain. 3. Are Black Holes Hairy? Do not ever type the words, are black holes hairy, into a search engine. Not only is my computer now full of malware, but my wife hasn't spoken to me for over a week. But this question isn't as filthy as it appears because it relates to the famous information paradox which has long baffled those who study black holes. It states that information about the matter which enters a black hole should be destroyed, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity. But our understanding of quantum physics says this information should be preserved. So, which is it? Well, in a paper presented in January 2016, Stephen Hawking stated that tiny hairs form on the event horizon of a black hole, and these hairs create a two-dimensional holographic imprint, which retains the information of whatever matter has passed through. Basically, if you want to know what a black hole is eaten, check out its whole hairs. At a conference, Hawking was asked about what the discovery of these hairs would mean for our understanding of black holes. And he replied as follows. The message of this lecture is that black holes aren't as black as they are painted. They are not the eternal prisons they were once thought. Things can get out of a black hole both on the outside and possibly come out in another universe. Number 2. Do black holes lead to other universes? The idea that nothing can escape a black hole is based on the fact that it is impossible to resist their gravity once you pass a certain point. But that doesn't mean your story ends there, because what a black hole does with you once you're inside is another matter entirely. Stephen Hawking's Hairy Black Hole Theory, which is not its official title but definitely should be, claims that black holes have a back door which allow you to enter an alternate universe. He theorizes that black holes act like wormholes, allowing objects to traverse the universe in faster than light speed, but with every trip taking you into a new reality, leaving behind everyone and everything you know in a universe you can never return to. Another idea expands on this by claiming that the exit to a black hole is a white hole, with these theoretical objects being the opposite of their black counterparts. Whereas you can't exit a black hole as it sucks in all light and matter, a white hole cannot be entered, 
as it pushes out the light and matter provided to it by its sibling black hole. If true, then perhaps all black and white holes link up together, working like a subway for every universes of the multiverse. However, we just won't know whether any of this is true until we try to visit one. And even then, the only person who will learn the truth is whoever enters the black hole themselves, since information cannot be sent back through. So perhaps we are destined never to know what happens inside a black hole, unless we're living inside one right now. And at number one, do we exist inside a black hole? The leading theory regarding our universe's formation is the Big Bang. How this event took place and why it kicked off we don't know. But one theory says it could have been caused by a gigantic black hole. We know objects of large mass can cause black holes, and this supports a theory called the Big Bounce. This theory says our universe will eventually contract back towards a singularity in an event called the Big Crunch. When this happens, said singularity would contain all the mass of our current universe. And that's no small potatoes right there. Such a mass would cause a huge black hole to rip in the fabric of space-time. And eventually, its singularity would become so unstable it explodes, causing another Big Bang. It is theorized that the Big Bounce has occurred and will occur repeatedly for all time with black holes playing a key part in the formation of universes. But you'll remember we said a black hole would form before the singularity exploded. This means our universe and everything we know may exist within a giant black hole. It also means that we might have a mother universe above us on a higher level, which itself could be one of many parent universes in an infinite chain of cosmic Russian dolls. This theory which is supported by many physicists, including New Haven's Dr. Nikodem Poplowski, who also backs up Professor Hawking's idea that black holes are a gateway to an alternate universe. But this model of universe creation goes further, because these universes died and were reborn so we could be created. So, if we can travel to our mother universe, what would we find? If the universe one level up was the universe which bore us, it must have been crunched into a singularity to do so. If we could visit it, would this universe be at the same stage as our own? Would it be in a state of flux? Or might it be billions of years ahead of us? We have no clue whatsoever. And to be honest, we're getting a little tired of hearing about things we don't know about black holes. Is there anything we actually do know? Oh yeah! It turns out we know how to create them and how to destroy them too. And we've explored this in our bonus video, How to Build and Destroy Black Holes, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and indeed all of our bonus content which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then it's cool, we still love you, and we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions, as you'll see if you watch our recent video on why parallel universes exist.